Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to tackle speed painting French Napoleonic carabiniers. These iconic cavalry troops can look stunning on the tabletop and I'm going to show you an easy method to get them battle ready quickly. So let's get started. And if you haven't already, do please like and subscribe so you don't miss out any future content. So step one is preparation. So at this stage, gather your paints together. We're going to use different collection. Most of them are game color or model color. Um, make sure you then get your paint brushes and uh, clippers. You might need tweezers, you might want a craft knife, just whatever tools you're going to need um, to really get the miniatures ready for the table. Next up we're going to be base coating them with black. You could use white or grey, but I've gone for black um, in this situation just because I like to have that sort of darker base. So for step two, we're going to be doing a zenithal highlight. So after we've got our black base coat, um, we're going to use a light color. In this case, we're going to be using white. Um, this is from Game Color. It's called Ice White. And literally just doing a dry brush from the top down, picking out all of the areas where sort of your natural light is going to hit. Um, so avoiding the undersides. Like I said, just dry brush from the top down where possible and practical. It works quite nicely because then as we move into the next few steps, those lighter raised areas should uh, remain lighter than the more recessed areas. So that's a good step to get into, or a good process to use. So the next step we're going to be using model colour chocolate brown for the horses. Uh, you could do the horses in black, uh, but I just like to use brown, uh, just a personal choice probably at certain points, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, regiments would have aimed to have most of their horses of a certain colour, um, but as horses became scarcer after the many, many years of casualties, uh, regiments would have then just used basically what they could get their hands on, and so as we're talking about the sort of Waterloo campaign, uh, yeah, I've gone with brown horses, plus some of the photos uh, slash the paintings, drawings I've seen showed brown horses, so that's what I've gone for. Uh, I've watered the <clears throat> the brown down with matte medium and flow improver and that way it turns it into a slightly bit more of a wash and then that goes over all of the, the horses themselves and then when that dries it has the sort of natural shading that we're after. So next up we're going to make a start on the horse furniture and we're going to be using game colour dead white and magic blue mix them together just to make it slightly lighter uh, probably if you've got a perfect blue as it is you don't need to mix the colors together but for me I just needed to uh, lighten it just a little bit more. Do take your time here because you don't want to get any of the paint onto the boots, the horse, uh, areas that you don't want it on so uh, use a nice fine detail brush to get this paint into the right places. So we're going to carry on with the rest of the horse furniture using game color dead white. Uh, so you've got sheepskins and different pieces of the uh, yeah, the furniture of the horse itself. So again, use your fine detail brush just to pick these out. Uh, just take your time, that's the main thing. You don't, again, want to get colours onto the previous coats. Uh, the benefit of these being acrylics is that if you do make a mistake, you can just get a, a paintbrush, dip it in water and go over that area and then dab it quickly with a piece of paper, uh, like tissue paper, and it'll take the the colour out so as long as you act quickly you don't miss out so that's quite good. Um, also what we'll do at this stage is the jackets, the tunics of the troopers, they were white so we'll get those done and their breeches. So it's a bit of a, a longer step because you've just got to be delicate and careful uh, but by the end of it we're going to have the horse uh, saddle uh, kit and furniture sorted and we're also going to have their trousers and uniforms of the men all white and ready for the next stage. So next up we're going to use game colour bright bronze. So we're going to be using this on the sword scabbards, on their helmets and also on their cuirasses. Um, this is a nice colour, does flow nicely, it doesn't dry out very fast, so it's one of my favourites. <clears throat> and once you've got it on it really starts to make them look like the carabineers that we're wanting them to look like. So it's a very fun stage where you actually start to see your miniatures coming to life. So 
So I'm really starting to get through the uh, French Napoleonics now. I've got a big push to get both the British and the French up to standard for my forces over the next uh, two to three weeks. But if there's anything in particular that you want to see, uh, do let me know, because I do add it to my list and I will get round to it eventually. Uh, but yeah, anything Prussian, British, French, or even Russian, for instance, just let me know and I can try and get those done for you. Okay, now we're going to be using game color silver. Again, it's one of my, one of my favorite colors. Again, it flows nicely um, and doesn't go lumpy. And so what we're going to use this for is stirrup irons, uh, bits for the horse's mouth. Uh, on the helmets, the chin straps tended to be silver in a lot of the artwork that I've seen. And there was often a crest on the front of the helmet, which was silver. Um, in some of the photos I've seen, the scales that hold the front and back cuirass together were silver. Um, and the swords themselves. So there's a few delicate pieces here that we're going to be going into and painting up. I'll be honest. To start with, I thought these might be tricky to paint, but the miniatures themselves have good detail, uh, which stands out nicely, so it's quite easy to pick it out. And yeah, I've really enjoyed painting them. They go along nicely. They hold the paint, and they're looking good. So now we're going to use System Free Process Yellow. And I'm going to use this for the sash. And a lot of the artwork that you see, the carabineers either have a red sash or a yellow sash. And so I'm going for the yellow. Uh, use a very nice detailed brush for this process, just to be able to get it across them without uh, splatting all over the current layers that you've already done in different colors. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, let me know down below what were your favourite regiments or favourite coloured uniforms of the Napoleonic Wars? They could be French, they could be British, whatever, but let me know which ones your favourites are. I would say probably for the French, Carabineers are probably up there with some of my favourites. I just love the contrast between the sort of the white, the red plumes and the bronze. I think it looks really smart. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think. Okay, now we're going to be using System Freeze Crimson, and we're going to be using this on the helmets, uh, not the helmet, well, yeah, the helmets, but the plume on the helmet, I should say. Uh, so that's going to be nice and red, but also uh, on the the horse uh, fabric, there were sort of like shark's teeth around the edge. Uh, some of the miniatures have them, some of them don't, and for those that do, I'm going to be painting those in red also. Um, yeah, it's a bit tricky trying to get to the angle, so please excuse the sprue blocking line of sight. Uh, but I do the best I can. Uh, so Crimson Free, uh, so Crimson Free, System Free uh, is a craft paint rather than a model color paint, uh, but it does the trick. Um, I haven't had much of an issue with it. Um, if you mix it with a little bit of Flow Improver as well, then it just does exactly what you want it to do, and it's a lot cheaper than buying miniature uh, paints specifically. So maybe I should do a review on it um, at a later date. Now we get to my favorite, which is the flesh. So I used Tamiya Colors Flat Flesh, but then I also just sort of watered it down, mixed it a little bit with Game Colors Bone White, and that gives me a, a nice color that I like to work with. Um, I find once I put the wash on, um, that really just gives it a nice lifelike uh, flesh tone. So that's what I'm using it for. On the miniatures, we're going for the faces. The hands would most likely have been in gauntlets of some description so they probably wouldn't be flesh tone uh, but that's up to you if you want to paint the hands exposed go for it although i would say probably at least for me i've painted them in gauntlets so just yeah base it off of the artwork that you see or whatever takes your fancy So 
So next up we're going to be using game color black and what we're going to use this for is cartouche boxes, ammunition boxes, uh, boots, uh, the reins and the lever work on the horses themselves. Uh, so a few different bits and pieces all over the figures. Uh, this particular colour is, it dries slightly gloss, so it is good for leather work, but if you're planning on painting um, uh, Prussians, for instance, uh, sorry, Prussians, uh, Brunswickers is probably more to the point, um, it would not really work for them because you don't want their uniforms to be shiny. Um, if you were to use this, you'd then need to use a matte varnish or something like that to dull them down. Um, my process applying the wash at the next stage does dull it down a bit, uh, which works for leather work, but perhaps not for the fabric. But again, at this stage, just take your time, guys. Uh, use a very fine detail brush again. You don't want to get this in places that it doesn't belong, uh, on the areas that you've already done nicely. So next we're going to apply a dark brown wash over the miniatures. Uh, check out my previous video on how I make my washes. Um, I'll put the, the link above. And once they've dried, we've got some pretty, pretty good looking figures. And what we'll do is go back over them using the same colours that we originally used, just to highlight. Now the last thing we need to do is apply the basing. Uh, use a block of your choice, or you could just paint them in green or brown, whatever you prefer. And there you have it a quick and easy method to speed paint your French Napoleonic Carabineers. Uh, these techniques will help you get your army ready for the tabletop very fast, without sacrificing on quality. If you haven't already, do please like and subscribe so you don't miss anything in the future. Uh, speed painting is all about finding the right balance between quality and efficiency, and with the tips today, you should be able to get your battles uh, playing very quickly. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. If you found the video helpful, make sure you like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for more wargaming tips and tutorials. Also, do please leave a comment below with your own speed painting tips, or let me know what you'd like to see next. Until next time, happy painting and happy gaming.